Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Tanelli and this is A Young Beauty. It is officially the fall season and I am so excited. And what better way to celebrate the coming of the new fall season than with a new ColourPop palette. This one is called Coast to Coral. It is a coral themed palette now. I am pretty sure this was supposed to actually come out earlier in the summertime. Early in the year when everything, you know, we started going to quarantines and stuff, everything shut down, ColourPop couldn't manufacture anything, make anything, ship anything. I'm pretty sure that all the launches that they've had out recently from Garden Variety to Wild Nothings, the Sunflower Collection, all of these things are supposed to have come out early in the year. So right now they're playing catch up, trying to get everything out that they were supposed to launch before. You guys, know me if it's coral peachy orangey themed i am going to want to so when i saw this collection i definitely had to have it i picked up the eyeshadow palette the blush and the highlighter i think there was a couple of body oils and some lip glosses and lip pencils and all that stuff i didn't get any of that i only got three products i was interested in this is what the packaging looks like as you can see it's got the coral reefs on it i think this is so beautiful it's just just absolutely gorgeous and right up my alley and this is what the color story looks like there are three shimmery metallics in here there are a couple of satin matte finishes and then the rest are just plain matte if you look on the back there are two eye safety warnings this one and this one when i look in the palette there are no pressed glitters so my assumption is that they are pressed pigments and that's this one and this one right here the shades are anemone and keeps swimming. So it's these two right here. I'm pretty sure that they're pressed pigments and that's why they have the eye safe warning because they're not pressed glitters. It's one of the things I love about this palette. There are no pressed glitters. Let's go ahead and look at some swatches. I pre-filmed those ahead of time. All the shades in this palette swatched beautifully. They're so pigmented. The metallics are so buttery and smooth and shiny. I'm really excited about that deeper, darker shade that's on the very end called Drop Off. It's one of those mattes with the kind of satin matte shimmer in it, but it has like, it's way shinier than some of the other satin mattes. I'm definitely going to put that one, I think, all over my eyelid where I would normally do a metallic or a shimmer or something like that. I think I'm definitely going to go with that Drop Off shade. It is just such a beautiful, unique finish. Now, when you look at this packaging, you immediately think summer. That's the first thing that comes to my mind. The nice peachy coral colors that you would see in the summertime. But when you actually look at the color story, once again, you can see there are some nice warm tones here on the bottom. So I think it'd be pretty easy to put together a nice warm autumn themed look. Now you guys know me. Normally this shade right here, anemone, I think it's how you say it. That's the one that I would immediately go for. That really bright, beautiful, peachy coral shade. But since I am wanting to kind of do a nice fall autumn themed look, I am going to focus on the shades here on the bottom. Let's go ahead and get started putting together a look. I think I'm going to do the blush and the highlighter first, and then we'll move on to the eyeshadow palette. So this is the packaging for the blush, and this is the packaging for the highlighter. As you can see, they are the same. The blush is just smaller, and the highlighter is bigger. The shade for the blush is called Shook to the Coral. Very unique play on words there. It's a very peachy coral shade. This is not a matte. There's actually a little bit of shimmer in here. It's very pretty. You guys know how much I love a coral peachy shade. I'm looking forward to putting that one on my face. The highlighter is called Coastin. This is a super shock. This reminds me of the one in the Nude Mood collection and the Blush Crush collection. I did not like either one of those and I do not like the really gigantic packaging. It makes it very hard to store and with this, this gigantic pan, you're like never going to pan this. I'm going to show you a close-up of this so you can see what the marbling looks like. That is what it looks like close-up. As you can see, this is a nice shimmery highlighter and it has this little peachy kind of marbling throughout. It's really a beautiful finish. I'm just hoping that it works well on my face. Like I said, the highlighters that came in those, those first two collections that they did where they did the big highlighters like this, I don't like either one of them. So I'm hoping... This one is a better formula, but let's go ahead and throw this blush on real quick. Got a little bit on my little angled brush here. I'm hoping that we get a nice decent amount of pigment and we are definitely getting a nice amount of pigment. For the summertime, this is very, very pretty. A nice luminescent finish. I do see a little bit of glitter in it, but it's not like really big chunks or anything. It is kind of blending into everything else. That is a very pretty peachy blush. All right, let's move on to this highlighter. Ooh, 
feels very very creamy okay right off the bat i like that finish much better than i like the one in those other two it feels like there's a little bit of oil in it which kind of makes sense you know when you're doing a summer themed palette which i'm pretty sure this collection was supposed to be but let's take a little bit on our cheekbones oh that's pretty i like that it's a nice gold highlighter very soft yeah i definitely like this one much better than those other two giant highlighters that i currently own from ColourPop. but this is really pretty i'm liking this it's definitely blending a lot better it's definitely smoother it's not as chunky a little bit on my nose a little bit on the cupid's bow now we're going to move on to this beautiful eyeshadow palette but the first thing i'm going to do is prime my eyelids using my milani eyeshadow primer this has to set down for about 30 seconds to kind of get a little bit tacky and stuff and then we will start our eye look primer is set let's go ahead and take this shade angel fish and we're going to lay that down on right above the crease area it's just kind of our transition shade so we're going to lay that here See, that's a very pretty peachy coral tone. It's very warm. It's very warm for the fall as well. It's definitely pigmented. No doubt about that. Just blending that out just above my crease and then a little bit into the crease as well. So how are you guys enjoying the fall weather right now? It's probably, I think it's 68, 70 degrees outside. It's pretty nice. We've had a couple of rainy days, but I do like when the temperature gets a little bit cooler and you can start wearing your sweaters and your sweatshirts. It's funny because I went out earlier this week and I had on a very thin like tank top t-shirt and I was like, yeah, this was a mistake. I should have put on a long sleeve shirt. I didn't. I underestimated just how much cooler it is right now. Now we're going to go into Queensland, which is kind of a deeper peachy shade it has a little more brown to it a little more warm and we're just going to kind of take that right here into the crease just to kind of deepen that area i am loving how pigmented these shades are it's a nice change from the last few palettes that ColourPop has launched i did not pick up those mainly because i saw the reviews and the reviews were saying how the, sh how the shadows were not very pigmented they were looking kind of chalky if you had like deeper skin tone it just was not showing very well it was looking kind of ashy on you on know, richer deeper skin tones and you know that's not very good so i didn't pick up any of those but as you can see the pigment on this palette wow that is definitely there the only thing that i will say is that even though we'll fall out there this shade looks like it's deeper than this shade on the eyelid i am not seeing that much of a difference they are pulling very very similar to each other so i do wish that this shade was a little bit deeper but other than that the pigment is definitely there now i'm going to go into drop off which is this really deep rich brown cocoa shade like i said it's kind of that satin matte finish i'm going to lay that all over the eyelid where i would normally lay a metallic just kind of want to see what this finish looks like so i don't generally put a shimmery shadow into my crease i'm definitely getting a little bit of fallout and a little bit of glitter on my face where i'm laying it down but that is a really pretty finish you definitely have to be very very light-handed when tapping this shade on though because there is definitely fallout and we are definitely getting a little bit of glitter onto the face i don't normally wet my brush for metallics but i want to see what the shade will look like if the brush is a little more wet just to kind of see if i get a richer deeper tone to the eye and less fallout oh yeah there we go much much better it's like rich chocolate cocoa that is so pretty definitely definitely much better with a wet brush than with a dry i'm gonna take a little more of the queensland shade just to kind of blend out the edges a little bit like i said i wish there was a deeper shade that i could put on the outer corner but as i said i'm pretty sure this was supposed to be a summer theme palette so it doesn't surprise me that there's not something a little deep in the palette but it would have been nice if it was. Now I'm going to take a Tolly and I'm going to lay that in the inner corner. I don't know if I want to put anything on the lower eyelid or not. I might take some a little bit of that brown shade, but I am not sure. Let me do the inner corner. 
highlight and then I will decide. You don't always have to put something on the lower lash line. You can just, you know, do the upper lash line and let that be the focus. You know, it's okay to do that sometimes. That's a pretty shade. I don't think I'm going to put anything on the lower lash line. I think I'm going to leave it as is, but I am going to put just a little bit more blush on. I just absolutely love this peachiness. Very, very pretty and one can never have enough blush. I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to do my liner, my lashes, my lips, and then we'll come back and we'll do some final thoughts. And I'm back. Lashes and lips are done. Everything that's on my face that I used will be down in the description box below. But let's get to talking about this collection. First, we got the eyeshadow palette. I really love the whole aesthetic, all the packaging, the coral. It's absolutely beautiful. And I really enjoy the color story too. You guys know I love anything coral or peachy. So obviously, this is my aesthetic. I appreciate the fact that these shades down here are richer and deeper in pigment. So they will appear richer on deeper skin tones, unlike some of the palettes that came up previously. Then we got the blush and the highlighter. I really did like the blush. My only negative to it is that it's not as pigmented as I would have liked. As you can see, it left this very pretty peachy luminescence to my skin. But if you have deeper, richer skin tones, this might not pull very well on your skin. You might not be able to see it very well. It might come off kind of gray or ashy. I don't know. If you're somebody who has deeper skin tones and you have tried this formula, let me know how it looked on your skin because I am very curious about that. And then we've been wanting to see ColourPop come out with more pigmented, richer formulas, richer shades so that they, because it just feels like the last few collections they've done have not been very inclusive. I really did enjoy this highlighter. It's still not my favorite formula, but I like this one better than the two big ones that I got out of the Nude Mood and Blush Crush collection. I did not like either one of those, but in this one, this one was much smoother. It went on much nicer. I did enjoy this one a lot more. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you hit subscribe and join my little family. And if you'd like to be notified of any videos that may be coming up in the future, just be sure to tap the notification bell down below. You'll be notified each and every time. Be safe, take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.